Hi everyone, I welcome you all for this Nursing Wisdom channel. Today we are going to see about effect of obesity on pregnancy. Having a high body mass index BMI or overweight during pregnancy can have a major impact on your health and your baby's health. There is no clear and universally accepted definition of obesity. However, a maternal weight of 90 kg is considered as upper limit of normal. Body mass index BMI expressed as weight in kg divided by height in meter square is a better guide. Ideal BMI should be between 20 to 24. The BMI more than 25 is considered as overweight. The BMI more than 30 is considered as obesity. BMI formula BMI is calculated by using this formula. BMI is equal to weight in kg divided by height in meter square. Here you can see how to calculate BMI by using this formula. For example, just consider weight is 90 kg, height is 164 cm. BMI formula weight in kg divided by height in meter square. So here weight is 90 kg divided by height in meter square. When converting centimeter into meter, we will get 1.64. So 1.64 into 1.64. By solving this, we will get the BMI of 33. Next classification of weight as per BMI. BMI less than 80.5 is considered as underweight. And here the health risk is minimal. BMI from 18.5 to 24.9 is classified as normal and here the health risk is minimal. BMI from 25 to 29.9 is classified as overweight and here the health risk is increased. BMI from 30 to 34.9 is classified as obese and here the health risk is high. BMI from 35 to 39.9 is classified as severely obese and here the health risk is very high. BMI more than 40 is classified as morbidly obese and here the health risk is extremely high. Of obesity on ability to get pregnant. Having a high BMI can harm fertility by inhibiting regular ovulation. Even in women who regularly ovulate, the higher the BMI, the longer it may take to become pregnant. Higher BMI is associated with an increased risk of unsuccessful in vitro fertilization also. Next risk of health problem to occur in pregnancy due to obesity. The health problem arise due to obesity during pregnancy includes gestational hypertension. Gestational hypertension means hypertension develops during pregnancy that starts during the second half of pregnancy and leads to serious complication. Preeclampsia it is serious form of gestational hypertension accompanied with edema and proteinuria that usually happens in the second half of pregnancy. Gestational diabetes high level of blood glucose during pregnancy. Obstructive sleep apnea, it is a condition in which a person stops breathing for short period during sleep. Next effect of obesity on pregnancy. Patients feel uncomfortable and become dyspneic on exertion. There is difficulty in diagnosis of presentation and in hearing the fetal heart sound. As such, there is more need for sonography or radiography. Increased risk of fetal malformation, especially neural tube defect and heart defect. Macrosomia. In this condition, the fetus is larger than normal. This can increase the risk of injury during birth. Preterm. Due to mother health problem like preeclampsia, hypertension, gestational diabetes, there is the need to deliver the baby as preterm. Stillbirth. Stillbirth means the baby is born dead. The higher the woman's BMI, the greater the risk of stillbirth. Next, effect of obesity on baby. Having a high BMI during pregnancy has been linked to an increased risk of various health problems for a baby, including congenital disorders, 
fetal macrosomia growth problems childhood asthma childhood obesity cognitive problems and developmental delay effect of obesity on labor there is increased incidence of abnormal uterine contraction and prolonged labor operative interference is increased and so also difficulty in cesarean section shoulder dystocia is likely anesthetic hazards are high effect of obesity on puerperium puerperium means the first 6 weeks period after the childbirth there is increased chance of puerperal venous thrombosis and lactation failure postpartum depression how much weight increases during pregnancy it is important to consider our pre pregnancy weight and bmi when determining how much weight you need to gain during pregnancy single pregnancy if you have a bmi of 30 or higher and are carrying one baby the recommended weight gain is 11 to 20 pounds or 5 to 9 kilograms multiple pregnancy if you have a bmi of 30 or higher and are carrying twins or multiples the recommended weight gain is 25 to 42 pounds or 11 to 19 kilograms management the cases are considered as high risk group they require adequate antenatal supervision and mandatory hospital delivery fat and carbohydrate should be curtailed in the diet during labor shoulder dystocia should be kept in mind there is increased risk of lss step to promote a healthy pregnancy schedule a pre conception appointment if you have a bmi of 30 or higher and you are considering getting pregnant talk to your healthcare provider they might recommend a daily prenatal vitamin refer you to other healthcare providers such as a registered dietitian they can help you to reach a healthy weight before you conceive reduce weight before getting pregnant Losing weight before get pregnant is the best way to decrease the risk of problems caused by obesity. Losing even a small amount of weight can improve overall health and pave the way for a healthier pregnancy. Medication help to reduce weight before getting pregnant. If you have tried to lose weight through diet changes and exercise and still have a BMI of 30 or greater and with certain medical conditions such as diabetes or heart disease weight loss medication may be suggested these medication should not be taken if you are trying to get pregnant or you are already pregnant surgery help to reduce weight before getting pregnant Bariatric surgery may be an option for people who are very obese or who have major health problems caused by obesity. If you underwent weight loss surgery, you should delay getting pregnant for 12 to 24 months after surgery when you will have the most rapid weight loss. Seek regular prenatal care. Prenatal visit can help your health care provider to monitor your health and your baby's health. Tell your provider about any medical condition you have such as diabetes, high blood pressure or sleep apnea and discuss what you can do to manage them. Eat healthy diet. Eat healthy diet include vegetables, fruits, whole grain, cereals. Work with your healthcare provider or a registered dietitian to maintain a healthy diet and avoid excessive weight gain. Keep in mind that during pregnancy you will need more folic acid, protein, calcium, iron and other essential nutrients. Eat smaller meals at short intervals. It helps to control weight and some annoying symptoms such as heartburn and morning sickness. Increase consumption of water to satisfy daily need of liquids. 6 to 8 cups of water per day. Avoid juices, soft drinks and flavored milkshake for these contain lot of calories. Be physically active. Consult your healthcare provider about safe ways to stay physically active during your pregnancy such as walking, swimming or doing low impact aerobics. Avoid risky substances. Stop smoking and alcohol. 
consult your healthcare provider before start or stop taking any medication or supplements special care during pregnancy yearly testing for gestational diabetes for women at risk of gestational diabetes a screening test called the glucose challenge test is often done between weeks 24 and 28 of pregnancy if you have a bmi of 30 or higher your healthcare provider might recommend the screening test at your first prenatal visit If your test result show that your glucose level or within the standard range you will likely repeat the screening test between weeks 24 and 28 of pregnancy if the result show that your blood glucose level or high you will need further testing your healthcare provider can advise you on blood sugar monitoring and control changes to your fetal ultrasound A standard fetal ultrasound is typically done between weeks 18 to 20 of pregnancy to evaluate the baby's anatomy but ultrasound waves don't easily penetrate abdominal fat tissue this can interfere with the effectiveness of fetal ultrasound talk to your healthcare provider about the best approach for getting an accurate ultrasound screening for obstructive sleep apnea Sleep apnea is a potentially serious sleep disorder that causes breathing to repeatedly stop and start during sleep. Women who have obstructive sleep apnea during pregnancy are at increased risk of preeclampsia and other complications. You will likely be screened at your first prenatal visit. If obstructive sleep apnea is suspected, your healthcare provider may refer to a sleep medicine specialist for evaluation and possible treatment. managing weight after delivery stick to your healthy eating and exercise habits to reach a normal weight breastfeeding is advised for the first one year of baby life it also help to reduce weight healthy pregnancy with obesity despite the risk you can have a healthy pregnancy if you are obese it takes careful management of your weight attention to diet and exercise regular prenatal care to monitor for complication and special consideration for your labor and delivery i hope you got understand about effect of obesity on pregnancy and i hope this video will help to have a safe and healthy pregnancy and delivery thanks for watching